What's up guys? Uh, I'm Marky Basie. You're on my bus. We're hanging out. I'm thinking of who I would want to see live in concert, dead or alive. One would probably be like Aretha Franklin with the choir in her prime. Um, that's just like American soul gospel music. Uh, to experience that in person, you know, you can just tell the hairs on the back of your neck would just be standing up the whole time. Two would be like 1960s Bob Dylan just with that biting raging wit anger just taking on the whole world as like in his early 20s just viciously smart and talented and just like so punk rock it's so hard it's like gives you gives me the chills to think about it I mean this is so hard uh, like Pavarotti maybe <laughs> I just um, like if you really it's like it's like of course I would want to see Tupac and Nirvana and like some of the great bands but there's like you know to see like an opera just things that just like really move you and shake you just for the sheer um, performance not because of the celebrity of what you're seeing when you can get both of those that's kind of cool so I would probably that's like Aretha would be like that would fall into that category to me seeing like John Coltrane do a love supreme that'd probably be that'd be it I could damn near die happy if I could see that one time I was walking in the East Village and I was much, I was like in a similar headspace I am right now, uh, and I was walking down the street. I was like super out of it, hungover, and I pass a church and it just says "A Love Supreme Live, 5:30," and it was like 5:27, and I just walked in and saw a band play a "Love Supreme" top to bottom for like 30 minutes in a little church, and it was like 10 people. It was so weird, and I just walked out. It was one of the best days of my life. I'll never forget it, but. To see the man really do it, that would be cool. Um, I mean, I pretty much covered all the bases, guys. I gave you some soul, some classic American soul. You got your, you know, jazz. You got your opera, and you got rock and roll. I'm also gonna tell you um, about some cool uh, shows that I did see because I was a part of history a couple times. One time I saw Big Sean right when he got popping at the shelter, which we just played at in Detroit, and he had just got popping. He had this song called Lemonade, um, and when he put that motherfucker on, like the place, it was so exciting. I was like, I was opening for him, or I was singing like backup vocals for Mike Posner, and he brought out Big Sean, and I was like, this kid is so raw. Um, and that was a really special moment. And then also, I played right when J. Cole got popping. When he had just dropped that verse on Jay-Z's album. I had a show at South By with him. Same shit, bro. I was like, good God, this man is phenomenal. Um, so I just wanted to throw that in there, too.